This is calculator question number 21 from practice test 7 in the 2018 College Board Prep Book. It's also the October 2016 SAT. We're given a graph with total fat versus protein for eight sandwiches. And the question is, given those data points in the line of best fit, what's the predicted increase according to the line of best fit in total fat, that's the change in Y, for each increase of one gram in total protein, that's the change in X. So they're asking for the slope, change in y over change in x. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's pull a couple points off the line of best fit, which is important in general, although in this case the sandwiches are very close to the line of best fit, so it's less sensitive to that error. x1, y1, I'm going to take one of the lowest points I can find looks like the line starts around 815, and that's both the line and the point. And I may be off by plus or minus 2, and that's okay because it won't matter over a long distance. And the line ends maybe 4875, x2, y2 equals 4875. And the reason I take distant points is the further apart they are, the less any errors in reading the graph are going to matter, and my errors don't really change depending on where I am on the graph. So my slope is the change in y is 75 minus 15 over the change in x, 48 minus 8. And I should do that on the calculator, but I won't. That's 60 over 40, which is 6 over 4 is 3 over 2, or 1.5. College Book Board often asks you for the slope of a line for, from a graph or other information from a line of best fit, so practice these and make sure you're comfortable with the concept of a line of best fit. They may also ask for the difference between the predicted value from the line of best fit and the actual value of the point graphed, and that would be the y distance. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.